missing that key player on your team and do not have the coins to afford them, make sure you check out Buy Mug Coins for instant Madden coins and always use code SAVAGE for 10% off. Yo guys, what's going on? It's Savage here. Welcome back to another Madden IT Ultimate Team video and it is my favorite day of the week. It's Tuesday. Weekend League Rewards just dropped, man. This past weekend, we finished with a record of 24-1, allowing us to finish top 10 in the entire world, man. I'm looking to make over a million coins today, guys. If you could so kindly smack a big fat thumbs up on the video, comment down below where you finished, what you got out of your rewards, and of course, comment good luck. I want to try to pull some absolutely mental last week bro we pulled full legend steve smith hopefully we could get something half as good this week and of course guys if you're new around here make sure you click that subscribe button join the savage squad click that notification bell join the notification squad it's a freaking good day when you do that now fellas here we go man we got 200,000 coins guaranteed i think we are guaranteed no less than 700,000 coins this week which is absolutely mental as so many coins so hopefully like i said man if we could get a couple of big pulls maybe we can make a million 1.5 even 2 million coins this week we're not too far away from it already as we are already securing 200,000 coins and we got a lot of packs that we can rip through man we got 30 trophies which i'm gonna open up first we got a freaking dude it's just gonna be it's a good day it's a very 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 good day on the madden 19 ultimate team so let's go back to our unopened packs right here and shred these but yeah guys like i said man let me know where you guys are finishing in the weekend league what you guys are pulling all that good stuff man and if you are struggling man yo check out savagemadden.com one time for the one time man got some great tips over there that can help you out all that good stuff but here we go man we got the mashup pack which dude there's at least 500k in there so that's a guarantee like i said we already got 200,000 coins there's a guarantee 500k in there whatever else we pull man who knows? Maybe we could hit something big. Maybe I could pull full. Am I recording? Yes, we are. We well, maybe we can pull full legend Ed Reed. Once again, man, Hail Mary packs. Are they ever gonna give us that red paint? I don't think so, man. I've opened up something considering how many times I've finished top 100 this year. How many times I've gotten top, you know, crazy rewards. It's a kind of amazing that I have not pulled an elite out of a Hail Mary pack. I think maybe one week I did. And I think it might have just been an 80 overall, but I see some of you guys pulling like 85s, 86s, 88s. I'm like, bro. Can I get some luck? Come on, man. Here we go. Second midfield pack. These never show us too much love either. Um, It's kind of crazy, man. And we did finish. Oh, I didn't even know you could pull these, but that's pretty cool. Um, Pretty much uh, th this past weekend, man, we finished number three in the entire world, which is crazy, man. 24 and one. One dude went 25 and 0. A bunch of people went 24 and one this week. Um, and that's just, it's just, you know, man, weekend league is hell, bro. If you, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. You got to keep grinding. got to keep doing your thing, man. Never get discouraged. You struggle a little bit. Guess what, bros? You struggle a little bit. Just keep pushing forward, man. Keep moving. Keep doing your thing. Keep catching W's, bro, because it, it's going to come, man. I know, I know 100%. No matter, no matter how much you struggle, guys, listen, there was a, two weeks ago when I went 20 and five, dude, I thought my Madden year was over. I felt the struggle. I was like, bro, I suck. I suck. I went 20 and five. I let my people down. And it was simply because I'm not going to lie to you guys. I got a little uh, frustrated with the game. And then I took my, I took, I took a, I took like a, I guess you could say a, a like a, like a lean back and I went, what can I do to improve? And I went ahead and I just did that. I improved. And once I improved, we went 22 and 3, now 24 and 1. I'm looking for that 25 and 0 finish this year. You know I got it in me. You know we got that number one in the world coming soon. But let's see what we got out of this red zone pack. These have been kind of okay for me. Last week, no elites. The week before that, two elites in each pack. Hopefully this week we can get the elite love back. Hopefully this week we can get the elite. Oh my goodness gracious. What is this though? 79 overall. It's hot girly. Did not even know you could pull the uh, Gatorade players anymore. I had no idea they were still in packs. Maybe I could pull something crazy out of this second one right here. Let's go ahead. There's one silver. We get a power up Brian Dawkins, unfortunately. And man, oh man, nothing crazy, man. We get Willie Henry. We get Gay. Oh, psh. Not nothing too, nothing too nuts, but hey, man, here we go. Touchdown packs this is where I need you guys to send me some luck right here. Then after I'm done opening up all these packs, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the squadron, all that good stuff. You guys can comment down below who you want me to pick up. And of course, man, 92 overall. That is pretty tough. We get a baby legend piece right here. Probably like an 80s, 80 something. Pretty low. Another baby legend piece, man. 84 Bruce Smith is definitely what I'm going to take. So the first one, very lackluster. Nothing too insane. Nothing too impeccable. Nothing too crazy. Hopefully in the second one, man, yo. 
Let me get that full legend. Let me get the ice breaking. The ice breaking. No ice breaking. We do get another baby legend though. We get a monster flash out of this for an 84 overall. All that for an 84, but we do get an 86 overall. Paul Kraus. So, okay, man, going through two, man, probably didn't even make 100K so far out of our packs. Hopefully, we can turn that around right here in pack number three, man. Come on, bro. We grind at 24 and 1. 24 and 1. We're getting an 82 overall, Leo Collins. Then we're getting an 82 overall, Ethan Westbrook. And our like can be quick sell card. Oh, 87 Desmond Trufant. That might go for a little bit just because he does have a Mutt Hero card. We have one more of these touchdown packs left. Hopefully we can hit like a quick sell 89 overall or something crazy like that. I don't know. We're getting another baby legend piece. Let me see the full legend crack screen thingy. There we go. 82. What is it, bro? Please be the 90. Could it be the 90? 84 Xavier Howard. I'm going to go ahead and safe bet Steve Smith. Okay, man. I'm not going to lie. Those packs were not the best, but these can save us right here. We are guaranteed at least 500k. Can we get a crazy player out of this pack right here? We are getting ourselves an 86 John Johnson. I cannot imagine that goes for too much. We get an 88 Pat Pete, who I know for a fact does not sell for 250k. And we are taking ourselves the guaranteed 500,000 coins. So right there, man, pack-wise, player-wise, wasn't the greatest weekend league rewards. But the guaranteed 700k definitely makes up for that. I'm not too mad at it at all, man. I just take what we get, man. We just take what we get. Uh, the 87 Desmond True Font could have been a glimmer of hope. He's only 66,000 coins. That is crazy, bro. Um, that is actually insane. We got this 86 Steve Smith, who's about 50k. So that's about 110k from them. Uh, the Paul Krause is going for roughly 40k. So it's about another 140. So we're up to about 840 total profit. And then if we look at the 84 Bruce Smith, that's another 25. So it's like 160. So it's about 860k. If I really did take my time to sell everything and we include the trophies, once again, the trophies save us probably about a million coins in profit all around. But with that being said, fellas, I probably should list those cards. Let me just go ahead and list them really quick before I go ahead and show you the team and kind of talk to you guys kind of what I'm doing, what I'm running, what I'm doing, what I'm running, what I'm doing, what I'm running. Um, essentially, man, I just want to know what you guys have been running on offense, what you guys have been running on defense. Uh, is everything going good with you guys? Obviously, you know, man, you guys finish in top 100. If you guys are finishing top 100, that means I'm doing my job right because that means that I, as a YouTuber, I'm instructing you exactly what to do, how to do it, how to execute, all that good stuff because that's all I want out of my people. I just want you guys to be the ones that eat up. So hopefully, if you guys are eating up, then I'm doing my, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I am doing my job cor correctly, man, because I don't want you guys to, you know, ever be slacking, ever be, you know, not getting how many wins you want. And I want you guys to be able to rely on me to help you, you know, improve your game and stuff. Uh, let's just go ahead and check out how much this 81 overall is. That's not who I wanted to check. But yeah, man, just let me know down below. Let me know how your teams are looking. Let me know all that stuff. Uh, definitely could, you know, if you need any help regarding players and stuff. Uh, I see a lot of people ask me, like, Vic. Vic is the best QB in the game. If you ask me why, I just say he's the best QB in the game. There's no reason to ask me. There's no reason to second grass Papa. But all that stuff, yeah, man, 100% uh, just want to uh, clarify that if you guys are struggling with anything, please do not hesitate to ask me any sort of questions. But like I said, man, 1 million coin profit this week after, you know, we do the trophy set, all that stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have enough trophies right now, but odds are we're going to pull a card worth at least 100K out of there and then bang, it's about a million coins. So once again, man, the trophies always are saving us. So right here, man, as you can see, squad's looking really good. Um, I actually have to probably depower up T.Y. Hilton. I'm debating on it. Like, I just don't, I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to get rid of TY. I don't use TY anymore. I have zero reason to use TY. I have Calvin now. Calvin is literally just a bigger version of TY. We have Ricky Williams, who's probably my favorite card in all of Madden right now, other than Vic. Um, we have two really good fullbacks just because I really do like the run game right now. It is like super, super easy. And like I said, man, in, in anything, bro, if you can take advantage of something, take advantage of it. I mean, it doesn't matter what people think about you. It doesn't matter what people say about you. If you're getting wins, then guess what? Who cares? So I'm going to come out here. I'm going to keep catching W's with the run game. Uh, the defense though, however, there's been some questions that I've been asking myself. Who, who do I get? Like, what do I need? So essentially, man, we are always rocking Sheard, Hughes, and Bosa. And I just don't, I don't know who else to get. A lot of people have been saying to get Kraus, but I don't need Kraus because I don't use safeties. And then at the same time, it's like, I have Pat Pete and I have Jalen. And it's like, 
dude, who else do I get? I don't even know who's in the game that would even be worth the time of investment. Uh, we're currently also, if you guys didn't know, I didn't buy Calvin, I did the set. So we are sitting on 11,000 training with all of these most feared players. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting for them to morph to see how good they are. The only ones that I might consider keeping is this Anthony Barr, maybe Jimmy G, just because he's six foot seven and I feel like later in the year he could be really glitchy. But knowing Savage and how I make my own decisions, I normally, whenever I say I'm going to do something, I completely do the opposite. So odds are, if I say I'm keeping a player, it means I'm gonna quick sell them. And I'm probably just going to wind up quick selling all the cards. Other than that, man, the team of the week this week was not too crazy. Uh, it was just like James White, Cam Newton, and I want to say Whitney Merciless got a card. Those cards just aren't for me, guys. They're just not cards that are ever going to crack the starting lineup. I really did wish EA would bring back limited time players. And I also wish that they would, you know, maybe increase these overalls. Because there's literally no point in using a James White or Whitney Merciless when there's a player like ricky williams in the game who's free so guys like that's something that i like that EA does they give us these free players and stuff so don't waste your coins on james white not really worth it whitney merciless he's just a subpar player like it's nothing gonna be he's not gonna make that big of a difference on your team if anything man you could definitely go out and just power up lt to a 90 overall and he's automatically better than that card especially with kens and you can already get abilities on that lt for just being a 90 overall uh but if you're a big baller you know go out get lt power him up do all that good stuff really interested in powering up von we might you might see some powered up von miller gameplay don't know yet but those are like my little things i don't really know what else i really want but that's kind of where i am like gauging the upgrades like kind of like maybe von maybe something on the d line maybe a new secondary member who knows but that's all i got for you guys make sure you go ahead and smack a big fat thumbs up on the button as always fellas have a wonderful rest of your night i hope your weekend league rewards are great as always <laughs>